damn. Deckham. He is so messed up. He plays with mannequins on his spare time. Like, that's just twisted and just creepy. It really is. And I thought he was a creepy guy before. But, putting that aside, a lot happened in this episode. We learned a lot of new things and a lot of new mysteries were kind of, like, given to us. So, let's get right into it. This episode kind of covers the previous episode, but we get to see it from a different perspective this time. We get to see it from, like, that assistant girl's perspective, the new assistant girl. And she doesn't have a name, which kind of uh, gives me something to think about. Yeah. It gave me a thought, but I'll talk about that at the end. of. And... Yeah, we get to find out a little bit more about, like, how arbiters do their jobs pretty much in this episode. And how they do the judgments, and it's interesting. The judging process, from the looks of it, isn't really flawless. It can have flaws if you don't take certain things into consideration. Yeah, there's certain things that weren't taken into consideration when Deccan did his, um... Like his judgment in the previous episode. So, in the last episode, Deccan sent the wife to the void and the husband to be reincarnated, pretty much. Which is like the whole Hinduism thing from the looks of it. They don't have like a heaven or hell from the looks of it. Yeah, so we're following the Hinduism um, type religion with this. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty interesting. I like the idea. But he made a mistake. From the looks of it, he made a mistake. Uh, I'll talk about that at the end of this review, though. So much to cover. So, we find out that Arbiters can actually get memories from the people they're judging. They get the memories beforehand, but they don't get, like, all the memories. They get, like, images and whatnot. So they can definitely um, misinterpret certain things, pretty much. They can misinterpret things. Yeah, when the wife, in the previous episode, when she said that she cheated on the husband, Deckham really believed it. Because he saw one image of her having an affair with the with another man, pretty much. But it was only a one-time thing, and he assumed that it was a long-term thing. He assumed that the baby wasn't really the husband's baby. Yeah. And it probably was. Yeah, so that was uh, really interesting to find out. And he gets scolded at the end of the episode for making the mistake. I was like, oh man, Deckham, what's going to happen to Deckham? Like, is he going to get in trouble? Apparently, if you make a mistake, uh, that's it. You made the mistake, there's no undoing it. But, I don't know if there's any like major consequences if you do it repeatedly. He was told not to make mistakes in the future. He didn't take into consideration, like, the woman's feelings. She pretty much sacrificed herself to the void to save the husband because she uh, loved him so much. Even if that meant having the husband hate her, distrust her, yeah, she pretty much sacrificed everything for him right there. And he doesn't know it. Pretty touching. Um, uh, yeah, good, a good episode. And she wanted to also, like, you know, try and, um, keep him from feeling guilty about killing their baby. Yeah, because he was the driver. So, yeah, it was a good episode, really deep. And, um, yeah, that other Arbiter girl, at the end of the episode, she goes into this, like, space after she gets off at like, after she leaves the elevator, yeah, like, we see, like, all oh, this really great scenery. It looks like heaven, pretty much. 
Yeah, which uh, makes us wonder, makes me wonder anyway, is she like an angel or something? Like that supervises uh, Deckham? Yeah, I wonder, or like some type of god or something? Like, yeah, because I think she's higher up than Deckham. Yeah. I'm not sure, like, what her position is right now, but she's definitely got influence over Deckham. She's his, she's like the boss of him. <laughs> really good. And as for the no-name girl, who actually has the capability to feel, because she was the one that pretty much came up with that theory that the wife sacrificed herself to save the husband and whatnot, Deckham could not comprehend that. Yeah, he couldn't comprehend love, pretty much. He, um... He was baffled at what she was saying, but then he kind of understood at the end of the episode. A little bit, I guess he got a better understanding. And she was told she's an assistant. I'm guessing she's going to assist Beckham in making like judgments pretty much because he probably can't make accurate judgments on his own. But with her help, maybe he can increase his accuracy a little bit better because she's capable of feeling emotions from the looks of it. She has that capability while he doesn't. But as to her, I think there's a lot more to her because she doesn't even have like a memory of who she really is. She has no name. My crazy theory is She's actually a mannequin taking on a human form. I'm calling it right now. She's really a mannequin. And that's why she's uh, assisting Deckham. She's one of Deckham's, like, mannequins. I'm calling it right now, guys. That's my theory. So, um, anyways, guys, um, what do you guys think about this um, series so far? Uh, personally, it's met my expectations. It's really dark. Lots of psychological elements. A great series right now. And Madhouse is doing really good. They really are. It doesn't surprise me that they're doing really good with this. They always seem to. For the most part. So, um, yeah, guys. Omega Dark Mage signing out, guys.